let's talk about Manage Users and all the benefits it can offer to teachers and students. Manage Users is where you set up your student, teacher and administrator users. Creating individual logins means that administrators and teacher users have the correct privileges and teachers can access teacher features. Uploading your users also allows you to set differentiated work to be completed in and out of the classroom. As well as this, uploading your students means you can take advantage of automatic marking, which is great for progress tracking. Firstly, we'll take a look at how to upload your users. We'll start with adding and editing your students. It's super quick to do. For multiple users, you should use the upload and edit feature to either edit students, add new ones, or edit and add new students at the same time. However, you can also add and edit students individually. Let's go into this in more detail. Firstly, we'll go through adding and editing existing students with upload and edit. To begin, click on upload and edit and download the sample spreadsheet available. When uploading your students via a CSV spreadsheet, you must have the first name, last name and class fields filled for your upload to be successful. You can also create usernames and passwords for your students if you have specific login credentials you'd like to use. If you leave the username and password fields empty, the system will automatically generate login details based on the student's first and last name. If you're updating students, it's best to include the unique ID, username and email fields so that Education City can identify whether it is an existing student. Once you've saved the spreadsheet, we can copy and paste the data into the box. Alternatively, you can upload the file too by clicking Upload CSV file. Once this has been done, click Next. You'll then be at the Pick stage, where you'll be able to sort the column headers and make sure they match with the data. After this is done, click Next. Now you'll be on the Identify stage, where your data will be matched by unique ID, username or email to determine whether the users being uploaded are new or existing students. Mandatory information such as first name, last name and class will be shown here. Any errors within the data will be presented for you to correct and warnings will also be shown for you to review too. You can cycle through the errors and warnings using the arrow buttons. You are able to click and type directly into the data field to correct or change anything. Select Next once you've made the edits you need. You'll then move on to the last stage, where all other non-mandatory data will be checked, such as gender and date of birth. When you are happy with your data, click Save. You'll be returned to the Students tab in Manage Users, where you'll see all the new students that have been uploaded and any edits that have been made to existing students too. You can also add students individually by clicking on Add Student. You'll be asked to fill in the details. This option will come in handy when new students arrive. Also, to edit an individual student's details, all you need to do is click on their name, make the edits and press save. To make sure your students remember their usernames and passwords, simply select the students you need to print logins for and use the print logins feature under the actions dropdown. There are more options in the actions dropdown too, such as export CSV and replace passwords. If you have home access on your subscription, you can allocate home access by selecting a student and clicking Allocate. Alternatively, you can use Upload and Edit to allocate home access to multiple students when you update or upload them via a CSV spreadsheet. You can even print them a letter with their logins by selecting them and clicking Print Home Access Letters from the Actions dropdown. Next, let's look at adding your teachers and administrators. By uploading these users, you can take advantage of fantastic teacher features such as quick and easy lesson planning with Manage My City. To upload teachers, click the Teachers tab. You can bulk upload them via the Upload Teachers option using a spreadsheet. To upload them in this way, you will need the title, first name, last name and email address information. You can also add teachers individually by clicking Add Teacher. To add administrators, you can use the Add Administrator option in the relevant tab too. Like students, you can print their logins as well. 
making it really handy for them to remember them. Don't forget, in Manage Users, you've also got the Groups tab. Organising your class into groups is really helpful if you want to allocate work to certain students via MyCity for differentiation. <music>